Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a new series FIFA 21 career mode with my club Brighton Ave Albion A lot of you guys basically saying that you want to see me do a career mode and because my football manager series worked out but I couldn't continue due to a few technical issues I thought I'd do a career mode with Brighton on FIFA 21 but anyway guys, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. The link for the, for the website is down in the description below. If you want to create a t-shirt, you're looking for a cool t-shirt, uh, use their website and use code, uh, code SPORT for 10% off. But anyway, we've got Wolfsburg, I started this career mode. But, you know, there's a few things I want to show you. I started putting players on the, on the uh, basically the transfer list and try to get to go out on loan. Basically the transfer list and try to get to go out on loan. So it is Wolfsburg. As I said, I've put a few players out on loan. There is one striker I do want to try and get. No, you can't get him. Oh. Um, if you haven't seen my manager, I will try and get him up for you quickly. No, that's players. I don't, are you playing? Okay, something new on here, I think. But Wolfsburg in the cup. Obviously, there is a few new things on this game as well, and I will show you them now. Basically, Sim Match is another way of watching the game being played without your planet. If the Caramel Cup gives me no opposition. The light, more likely chances will, I will do it this way because it makes it more fairer and I'm not playing all the football. But this mode is new to FIFA. I absolutely love this mode. I think it's one of the best things that's coming out of this game. As you can see now on the screen that the game's being played, I am watching this Wolfsburg possibly turn the box. Oh right, we've got it back. But yeah, this is one of the new modes. We can jump in, we can jump out as well. I will show you how to do that as well also. I think we can jump in any time in the game. But while I'm here, I can also, I can also change my team. Basically likes the subs. And I'm going to take out, so that's the offer bring uh, my Callister one, I think they call him. I shouldn't have him really. But yeah, here you see the game being played. I think it's twice the pace of basically the actual game what you're going to see now. I've just jumped in by pressing sweat and can jump back out and I'll show you that as well. Also. But this is just going to be, you know, a quick thing on FIFA 21 and you will see more as we go through the career mode on FIFA 21. First time I've actually done FIFA 21, uh, first time I've done FIFA 21, well I hope not. Um, first time I've done a career mode in a while. Uh, I think the last time I did, I think I nearly completed it, or did complete it. But it's quite a few years ago now. But anyway, this is going to be, you know, my other thing. And this one I want to show you, so Lampard's going to be run on. Now, what the queue is going to be, I'll get my one into the zone and has a unlucky shot by the way. That is done by done, uh, double analog on the PlayStation. I'm not sure about the Xbox. I should imagine it'd be a similar way. But yeah, so that's one of the other new features on FIFA 21. As I've said, I'm just really looking forward to doing the career mode at this, you know, present in time. I think it basically will be, you know, uh, Good thing more than anything. If you can hear it now, I hope you can't hear it too loud. That is my PlayStation. I don't know what's going on with it, but hopefully, this I should I should be able to make that go away later on in the career mode. I think celebrating FIFA 21. I think I've been. I think the first FIFA game I played was um it 
was actually FIFA 97. Well, the first actual game I played was FIFA 99. And back then you used to get all the old FIFA games, you know, on, you know, on like that. So, but yeah, I really do like the updates on FIFA this year. I'm really looking forward to downing it down and uh, basically just, you know, playing the game. I will be doing Ultimate Team, but only my fuck chance if I qualify for it. If you do want to see that as well, put it down in the comments below and I'll live stream that. I will not make a series out of it. I can't miss. Good tackle. Good stuff. Shane Duffy and all them other players are out on loan already. But, you know, it's just going to be a really fun series to do. I'm actually looking forward to doing it as well. Nice little one too. Right. Right, we're going to the first one in FIFA 21 as well. But anyway, that was unlucky. We'll go again. Neil Mopay. Putting pressure on the defender. And they kick out well wide. What am I looking forward to? Basically, I think what, one of the things I'm looking forward to with FIFA 21 is all the new features they've got coming out. This is my dream FIFA, if I'm all honest. Because you can do it as in like Football Manager style, you can do it as in FIFA style, which means play the matches. You can do it, you know, there's so many different ways you can play the game this year. But, you know, I think it's already better than FIFA 20. I just think, you know, it's going to be a really good year or year for FIFA. I don't know more off the ball. I will show you the calendar. And I will try and... I'll jump out. At the next best point, whether that be half time, whether that be... I don't know. Maybe yeah, half time being that point probably, but you know, it, um, I'm just really am looking forward to. I already do like controls. Controls are so much more smoother than what they were in previous years. I can actually take control of him as well. By pressing the double analog again. There will be a minimum of one minute. So, if you didn't know that, you can do that. Half time coming up. So now it is half time. So if I wanted to, so here we are back at the start. You can do this as you just saw with on in play or you know at the start of the game. But then I can also keep jumping back in. The likes of Crystal Palace, when we play Crystal Palace, I probably will more than likely play them games. But, come on. Please get a goal. Okay, Trossard, goal! Trossard, score for Brighton. Shame we can't do our own real off at the minute. If I jump back in now. But there yeah, is just some of the cool features that, you know, FIFA brought out this year. As I said, I'm, I've always wanted to do a sort of, like, sort of manager thing with, uh, with my channel. And, you know, and FIFA's just literally came out with, uh, with that simulation mode. So, you know, hopefully it will stand for future FIFA's. So now it's a free kick, so basically if I don't want to defend it, I can just literally drop back out by pressing that again. But I am going to try and defend this. Right, right, too close, was it? Was it close? Did have a No, not really. Three points for Rob Union, I would say. Players come into the box as you call them up. Zuma now. No my play. Milano. Crossover. 
I'm gonna look for an extra striker, don't worry about that. Do you wanna see, do you wanna see a certain striker? Let me know in the comments below and I'll look at the time I can up. I'll see if I can get him. T1. I can't go diving in like you, so I don't know if I'm going to point. So let's just let this game ride out. I do really do like this mode. I can change my team. Basically, you can do anything that you used to do in play by this bit. Put down burning for dump. You also go on the attack there. I can change my game plan. Basically, what you can see on your screen now, ballot attack, you can do around 50 20 anyway. I'm not sure how many of you knew that, but that is something you need to do in FIFA 20. I think you could also do in FIFA 19 as well. My game plan's not working, I can change it from here. As I said, this system works perfectly for my career mode and just basically overall. I will come up with a game plan of attacking. I'm going to jump back in. Just jump back in for the last time for me. Down web start. I think I'll first game I will have a look in the next one. I'll show you some kind of padding dart as well. If you want to know the upload schedule to these videos, this one will be special to should be uploaded tonight. But in future episodes it will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless the Premier League's plan and then it'll be Monday, Friday. So you either I'll get two or three episodes a week of this. As an unlucky shot by the line, I could give me my first goal and two for time as well. Straight in the box. Oh. Ben White is, um, you know, just literally doing his thing. I like his number this year for Ben White. I just like him fan. Or oh, free one. Game set match. But yeah, I just want to show you this one thing in the calendar. There you go, final time. Have it. Hopefully this noise won't continue if you can hear it. Hopefully it's not too loud, but hopefully we will not continue. Don't get this Sony a sort of like a trial thing, but I've only got it for so many hours. But hopefully Tom I've got the full game it shouldn't make this much noise. But anyway, let me show you what I want to show you in the calendar. So, as you see here, hold on, I just want to see, right, Man United at home, really. Right, so basically, forget about Fisher. So we've got recovery, we got, so here we've got rest day before match, which means basically we can rest them, we give them training. After match, we can have rest day, training day, recovery day and then weekly plan is intermediate training or intermediate rest I think that is. This is going to be so crucial for you know the players development and basically just overall perspective. Only rest but you know we can choose, I think can even choose them um, I won't say that, what I do want to do though is basically that, yeah. So, I think what we can also do, and I'll probably do that in a future episode, is basically give the players a rest day by, if I go squad hub, I would say I'll do it in the next episode, I think I might work that already how to do it. So here you got basically you know, development plan, which changed our development plan, which 
or think something else is now in the game. Block offers means basically no offers can come through for a certain player. But as I said, most of the players are out on loan in real life are out on loan in the game. As far as new signings go, I will be looking for new signings, you know, in the future. And up on the top left corner, as I've just seen, you've got 7 attackers, 15 defenders, 17 midfielders, 5 keepers. Way too many keepers, way too many. So I will be getting some of the them as well. But yeah, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. If you're looking forward to this series, give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.